So it has happened. The roadmap for everything ARK got published and players are shocked and hyped at the same time. But let's go through this one by one. Starting with ARK 2, it was one of the most highly anticipated pieces of news from the recent ARK update that was related to the release of ARK 2. It took us only a little by surprise that it would be delayed. Surprise that the new release date is actually at the end of next year, so 2024. But until then we will get some content, but not everybody will be very excited about this. We will also not get any arc tuned gameplay this year, so the teasers of the overhauled animals that they have been sending us is all we can expect for this year. But let's talk about Ark Survival Evolved. Let's talk about the good old Ark as we know it. Ark 1 will get its very last content update in June, so in about 3 months from now. It will also contain the community voted creature. This also means we will not get another TLC for ARK 1 anymore. In August, all official servers will be put offline. Yes, you understood this right. All ARK 1 official servers will be put offline. You will be able to download your safe game to continue playing on your own server or in single player though. This is probably exciting for the PvP players, but I have seen a lot of ARK PvE players who can't believe that 8 years of progress will be lost. But with the end of the official servers, there will be new official servers and they will be for Ark Survival Ascendant. An Ark Survival Ascendant short ASA is the name of the Unreal Engine 5 version of Ark 1. Another work title was also Ark 1.5. While it was announced it would be a free update, it won't. The base game with all free community maps will cost $50 and each season pass for the story maps will cost an additional $20, which means about $90 in total for the whole package. They also announced that there will be another DLC by the end of the year, most likely another map for Ark Survival Ascendant. It also seems that this DLC will not be included in any of the season passes, so you will probably have to pay extra for this one. While the price is steep and the opposite of what was announced, it was said to be a free update, if you buy the game in the first year after its initial release, you will get your key to ARK 2 and access to a closed beta. If you play ARK on PlayStation, you will only get the ARK Survival Ascendant game since ARK 2 is Xbox exclusive for a while. But getting ARK 2 as well kind of makes it up for the higher price. ARK 1.5 modding will be cross-platform via Overwolf. Modders will also be able to offer paid mods since Overwolf will have to charge for cross-platform availability. The mods available on Overwolf will be vetted by Overwolf and Wildcard. Priority is with the sponsored modders for now. So if you're not confused what all of this means, ARK Survival Evolved 1 is going to be switched into maintenance only. Official service will be taken offline there won't be any updates other than bug fixes anymore. Arc 1.5 or Arc Survival Ascendant will basically take Arc 1's place. It will get further updates and all technological advantages of Unreal Engine 5. It is a complete new purchase. You buy it in the Steam store. It will cost $90 including all story DLCs and will have Arc 2 included when you buy it in the first year after release. But now coming to the survival of the fittest. The survival of the fittest will be integrated into Arc Survival Ascendant as a game mode. It will contain a lot of changes like local lobbies, matchmaking, cosmetics, etc. Everything we basically have asked for. It will also be in Unreal Engine 5 and support cross-platform and cross-modding. On top it will also get a Scorched Earth map. If this is the map that was initially made for the old SOTF or if it's actually Scorched Earth as we know it, we will see. Oh, and if you are an ARK mobile player, you will also get a revamped version based on the Switch version. But this one will get its own roadmap. It was just a little side note at the end of the community crunch. The ARK animated series for now is in post-production, but nothing else when it will be released or especially where. No news. Maybe we will find out later. And that was a lot, wasn't it? But let's put this into a proper timeline. June 2023 is the last update for ARK Survival Evolved, so ARK 1. August 2023, the official servers will be shut down. Also in August 2023, 
Arc Survival Ascendant will be released and with it a new set of official servers. In the end of 2023, we will get a new content DLC for Arc Survival Ascendant and it will most likely be a new map. At the end of 2024, Arc 2 is most likely being released unless it's getting postponed again, but that's the plan for now. But between August 2023 and the end of 2024, when Arc 2 gets released, we will have a fully supported and updated Arc 1.5 that will also get new content, new events, and so on. So it will be treated like Arc 1 was treated before. But now to my opinion, if you care about it. If not, well, you're bad. I think while I'm not completely happy with the news, it could have been way worse. First of all, we will keep our Arc 1 mods and our Arc 1 servers. Not the official ones, but our unofficial ones. And we can just keep everything running and pretend nothing changed. So in that case, nothing will break. I am a little sad about official servers being shut off, but I understand why they don't want to run two or, well, when Arc 2 comes out, three networks, especially because Arc 1 servers have been fairly empty in the past months. That we get another game we have to pay for, even though we already bought it, is quite annoying. But considering that it contains Arc 2 for Xbox and PC, I think it's not that bad. In my opinion, it should have had the story DLCs also included. I don't like that they charge for the DLCs on top. It is quite a steep price point. I think putting the survival of the fittest into the main game is a good choice. It can reuse a lot from the main game and you don't need to install two games on your PC because they anyway reuse a lot of assets and there's no point in installing them double on your PC. You will save so much space. I also think that putting it into the main game will help the player numbers a lot. I'm fairly certain that I have forgotten some points that were also in the community crunch, but as I'm writing this down in my bullet points for this video, it's 4 a.m., I haven't slept, and the whole long text from the community crunch was quite overwhelming. But what do you think about the news that we got with the last community crunch? I leave you the link of the full community crunch in the video description so you can check it out for yourself. Let me know in the comments what you're thinking, but keep in mind, keep it civil, keep it fair. We want to have an adult conversation about it here. And that's it. If I find out more, I will let you know. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye.